Today, let's make some chili cheese dogs. These are gonna be plant-based and reduced fat. So let's get started. We're gonna start with a half cup of vital wheat gluten, quarter cup of chickpea flour, two tablespoons of tamari, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of mustard, whatever kind you like, but I'm using Goulden's Spicy Brown, one half teaspoon of allspice, one half teaspoon of nutmeg, and one teaspoon of paprika. Then one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of liquid smoke, one tablespoon of maple syrup, half teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna mix that through a little bit. See, yeah, it's very, very, very dry. And that's what we're looking for. Then I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of water. I have more water just in case. Mix that through. And if it feels like it's not coming together at all, then you definitely wanna add a little bit more water, just like maybe a tablespoon or two at a time. But you see, this is coming together. It's looking pretty good. We have a couple of dry spots, but I'll work those in. Not a problem. This is not a dry mix at all right now. It's actually looking perfect. All right, now that we have our mixture all blended homogeneously together, we do want to kind of get it out of this bowl, start really doing the kneading process. So let's get it out onto a cutting board. Make sure you get everything out of that bowl. You know, it's important. And we're just going to give it a little bit of a knead, not too much. It is wet. It's going to stick to the board a little bit, and that is okay. It's perfectly fine. You want this to be a little on the wet side so that we have a nice soft texture in the end. I do use a dough scraper to kind of keep it all together and just, you know, scrape it off and put it back in the mix. And sometimes it's easier to just do it by hand above the, the board. It's no big deal. Now I'm going to separate this into four roughly equal pieces. I never get the pieces exactly right. And, you know, it's not a big deal. That's the whole thing in home cooking is it's not perfect, but it tastes damn good. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I have four pieces of foil and four pieces of parchment paper, roughly the right size to roll up a hot dog with. So we're gonna start rolling our hot dogs. I use the dough scraper to make sure it doesn't stick to the board. And then once I get it on the paper, I just kind of roughly shape it lengthwise is really what I'm looking for. Get it the right length. The rest of it is fine. Just make sure that it's roughly equal. It doesn't have to be round or anything yet. I got a trick for that, don't worry. Then you just put the first part of the parchment paper up, take your dough scraper and push against it a little bit. See, I slipped a little bit, but hey, push against it and see how it gets nice and round. And if you do it just right, it gets perfectly even on all sides. Roll that up and then give each end a twist just to seal it up. And there's your hot dog. But we want to contain that. So let's put it in some tin foil and do exactly the same thing. Just roll it over, pull back a little bit to form fit it. We don't want too much space. Seitan tends to expand when it cooks. So we don't want any extra. Roll that up and give it a little twist on the ends. You want these tight, but not so tight that uh, they're dangerously tight and could burst. And like I said, seitan tends to expand. So you wanna be kind of careful, make sure that there's enough uh, layers of tin foil covering them so that you can make sure that they don't explode when they're cooking. And I'll just finish up the rest of these now and uh, we'll get to the next part. Okay, so we have all of our wrapped up hot dogs, and now I'm going to use a bamboo steamer. This is my preferred method for these. It actually seems to make the best texture in the end and works really, really well. I'm just bending the ends so that they all fit. It takes a little bit of, you know, Tetris with the tinfoil to get them all to fit in there. Just play with the tails of the tinfoil. It's okay. You can bend them around. And, you know, it's like when you're a kid and you made tinfoil elephants and stuff. I mean, we all did that, right? It wasn't just me. Now that they're all in, we're going to put that on the steam for uh, about an hour. What I have is a pot of boiling water, and I just put those on top of it, leave it go for an hour. While that's steaming, we're going to make our chili. For that, I'm going to use a half cup of TVP, or textured vegetable protein, and we're going to add some boiling water to that. I generally put in probably a little bit more than the half cup of water. Uh, that way, you know, just to make sure that it soaks all that up. I am going to add a little bit more water to it later. In a pot, though, we're going to add two tablespoons of ketchup two tablespoons of tomato paste. Now you can use all ketchup or all tomato paste if you really like. I think the mixture works really, really well. Makes it a little tangy, a little sweet, works really nicely. One teaspoon of chili powder, 
one teaspoon of cumin or cumin, however you like to say it, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of liquid smoke. We're just gonna mix that together a little bit. So after about 20 minutes, we're gonna take that TVP mixture and there's just a little bit of liquid there. And we're gonna dump that all in. You wanna make sure you get it all out. I mean, you know, you paid for it, it's your TVP. You should be able to consume it. And we wanna give that a good mix. Now you might be thinking there's probably not enough of the red stuff in here, but trust me, there is. You can just mix that through and you'll start to see it'll blend all together. And what we really did is we just flavored that TVP with the spices and the tomato products. And as you can see, look at that texture. It sticks together, holds together really nicely. Perfect for scooping onto a hot dog. Now we're gonna start our cheese sauce and this goes into the blender. Half a cup of cashews, quarter cup of unsweetened soy milk, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of mustard. I'm again, using the only mustard there is, golden spicy brown mustard. You can use whatever you like though. One teaspoon of lemon juice and one teaspoon of olive juice. Now this is literally the brine left over from say a bottle of Kalamata olives. And while we're blending it, we're gonna add probably two to three tablespoons of water just to make sure that we get a good mixture and it'll blend. And here we go. After blending, let's get that lid off and take a look inside. A lovely creamy cheese sauce. Nope, it's not going to pour. It's pretty thick, but it is quite spreadable. See that? There's that texture. Yum. Now, once that's all in the container, if you want to, you can actually just put a lid on this and put it in the fridge and store it and use it, dip vegetables in it, whatever you like to do. I'm just going to put it on the side and we'll be ready for the hot dogs. I like a little bit of topping on my chili cheese dogs, and today it's going to be onion. Some people like jalapenos, some people like relish. I like diced onion. So I'm gonna dice this onion up in the smallest dice I can possibly do by hand. Just don't make it mush. We just want a very fine dice. I'll just put that into a little bowl so that we can uh, serve it easier later. And that way it clears up my cutting board. All right, the hour is up and our hot dogs are done steaming. Let's do the big reveal. And they look exactly the same, only slightly more steamy. Just take them out of there, let them cool for just a few minutes because, you know, they're hot, thus the gloves. Now, when it comes to unrolling, I know a lot of people like to try to save the foil and I'm all for that. I just, I'm horrible at it. I can't do it. So... I try, but every single time I end up tearing it and I just kind of, uh, whatever, I'm done. I'm getting them out of the foil. See, I tore it. And then we just unroll it out of that parchment paper. And voila, there is our Satan hot dog. Look at that. It's even red. Put the others to the side because I'm just going to make up one chili cheese dog for now. We're going to save those other three for dinner. That's in, you know, a few hours from now. All right. So we have all of our mise en place, which means basically stuff in place. I know that's not really what it means, but it sounds better that way. And I have a bun here. It is not a whole wheat bun. And I apologize for that. I can never seem to find whole wheat hot dog buns. I should probably just make my own. Notice the springy texture of that hot dog. See that? That's perfect. That's what you're looking for. See, those buns aren't just, they're just not quite big enough. Now let's apply our chili and, you know, be generous. There's no need to skimp. I mean, a chili cheese dog is not a chili cheese dog unless it makes an absolute mess when you try to eat it. So it's supposed to be messy. It's part of the definition of a chili cheese dog. It's easier to just hold them sometimes. And I'm just going to grab some of that cheese sauce. It's rather thick. So see it dolloped on the one side there. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to spread it out in a minute. Just get it all on there and then see, spread that out, get it all nice and through the whole thing. And now time for that diced onion. This adds a nice crunch, a little extra flavor to it, spices it up just a touch, you know, touch of heat of that onion is actually really, really nice in this. And of course, my favorite sauce, Heinz Simply Ketchup, no high fructose corn syrup here. And then the only mustard there is. Golden's Spicy Brown. Put a little bit of that on there. I mean, you knew this was coming, right? It's a hot dog. You got to have mustard on a hot dog. I know some people get offended by ketchup, but sorry, I put ketchup in hot dog, even on chili cheese dogs. Now it's time to wrap my hands around this and get a bite. 
absolutely amazing. The texture, the flavors, everything melts together so perfectly well. Go ahead and make yourself a reduced fat plant-based chili cheese dog. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time on The Bistro.